We have built a sensor platform for mobile devices that uses vision to track motion, recognize spaces, and scan the surroundings in 3D. My name is Nikolai, and in this episode, we will talk about the depth perception concepts and tools available for you to get started. With the 3D depth sensor, you can scan the space that surrounds you and use the data to build models of your reality. If you need to fit a new TV on your wall, or place a virtual castle on the floor, or see how much ice cream you can fit in that freezer, you may want to continue watching. Depth perception can create static models of the surroundings as you scan them. If you combine depth perception with motion tracking, you get the power to have virtual objects coexist with physical objects right in front of you. This can be used to detect surfaces, obstacles, or shapes of objects. Let's say we wanted to simulate a gecko walking on the ceiling. We would use depth perception to detect the surface of the ceiling and use motion tracking to follow the gecko around the house. You won't need to know all the details of how depth sensors work, but it's helpful to have a general understanding to make the best use of them. There are several technologies available, which we will mention three major ones. First, we have structured light systems. They send out an infrared dot pattern to illuminate the contours of the environment. The device then measures the size of the dots. The larger the dot gets, the further away it is. Second, time of flight systems use specialized sensors to measure depth based on the time it takes to transmit an infrared beam and capture its reflection. At short distances, it only takes the light a few nanoseconds or a few billions of a second to travel back and forth. Third, there are stereo systems, which captures the scene with two cameras that are short distance apart and infer depth from using triangulation. Does that sound complicated? Well, this is very much how human eyes work. Two eyes, or cameras for that matter, that are able to see the same scene but from slightly different angles enables the viewer to gain a perception of depth using trigonometry. The infrared based depth sensors such as structured light or time of flight based systems have the benefit of working particularly well indoors, in low light and where there are, isn't any textures on the walls. On the other hand, infrared light is less reliable in direct sunlight and on very dark surfaces which tend to absorb infrared light because it reduces the amount of depth data you will acquire. The sensors in Project Tango are currently optimized to scan room-sized and static environments, which makes it well suited for detecting surfaces and large objects like walls, doors, tables and chairs. Other requirements to bear in mind as you design your program is the need for resolution, range and speed. Resolution determines how much detail you can capture, range how close or far you can be to an object, and speed is how fast you can capture the motion. Project Tango returns depth data as a point cloud. It is the raw representation of what the sensor detects. You can use Project Tango Explorer to see what data looks like in the point cloud mode. Each of the displaced dots is associated with a position and a distance to the device. If as you move around, Explorer applies motion tracking to combine multiple point clouds into one. The raw data is great for calculating floor height, uh, distances to nearby objects, or to find surfaces. If you instead want to create complete 3D models or meshes, you can use an app like Project Tango Constructor. Let's have a look at how that works. As you scan an area with Constructor, the app combines depth data with colored images from the camera, while you can watch the 3D model of the surroundings as it's being built. When you're done scanning the area, the constructor can export a file of the generated 3D models to the SD card. From there, the file can be imported by other apps or games. If you want to test drive a micro version of the Mars rover in a sandbox, we could use Constructor to create 3D models of the hills and valleys in the sand, export the data, and then build an app that uses the exported data as the surface for the rover. Project Tango is all about connecting the virtual with the physical experience, and the depth sensor literally brings the physical world into the virtual world, so you can build 
virtual biology experiments, or Mars rover simulators. Visit our Google Plus community and join us in our journey. We are excited to see what you will build with Project Tango.